How are you feeling this morning? When Jessica Trickett counsels her patients about the dangers of addiction, she knows what she's talking about. It was while she was in college studying psychology that Jessica first abused prescription medicine and became addicted herself. The first time I tried them, it was with a couple friends, and they were taking them recreationally, and so I tried one. And one was all it took. Like thousands of teens who experiment with them each day, Jessica soon found getting hooked on prescription drugs was almost as easy as getting her hands on them. 70% of those who misuse these products and abuse them get them from family or friends, usually for free often from the family medicine cabinet. It's a message Dr. Ken Hale lectures about as a pharmacy professor at The Ohio State University. He says because many teens and college students assume they are safer than street drugs, they're more likely to try them, and they're doing so in alarming numbers. The abuse of prescription drugs now exceeds all of the illegal street drugs that they measure combined, except marijuana. To help turn those numbers around, Hale has teamed up with Cardinal Health, one of the largest health care companies in the country, to create this online toolkit. Pharmacists and community leaders are using it in meetings like these to educate parents and share these medicine cabinet musts. First, put your medicine under lock and key. When you no longer need them, get rid of them properly. And don't share your prescription medicine with anyone. Also, talk to your kids about peer pressure this school year, because taking even one pill without a prescription is one too many. That is not okay to just do every once in a while, because it can lead you down this path, and you do not want to go down this path. This is not a joke. This is, this is a disease that kills. In Columbus, Ohio, this is Clark Powell reporting.